What's up? Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net and today we are going to be doing another ASP Classic 3 minute quick tip. And today we are going to do a form. What we're going to do is we're going to send our form to our one.asp page. So let's go ahead and create our form. And we want it to be action. It's going to go to one.asp and then our method it's going to be of post and then we're going to go down here we're going to create an input type it's going to be submit and then we want our name to be submit and our value is going to be send me Okay, and now we are going to do a input type equals text and value is a name my text T E X T and then we close it we save and then we refresh our page and then we have this right here so then we say uh wayne baron we send it but we don't get anything so let's go ahead and get rid of all that so what we want to do now is that we want to grab a hold of our text whenever our submit button is sent so what we do here is that we do a uh, get sub equals request dot form and it's going to be submit so this is our variable so now we're going to use our variable if get sub equals um, send me then we want to uh, hello okay we also need to grab a hold of the text the my text area so then we go over here and we create a variable for it so uh, get text equals request dot form and it's going to be this right here so if our get text then we say hello and then we end if so now whenever our text is submitted we have a error right here and then we refresh again resend hello Wayne Barron and it seems like I put a zero instead of an O. So, and resend. So, whatever you type in here, Carl Baron, which is my son, will show up there. Uh, so, whatever you type into the form, it's going to grab a hold of our first variable, which is right here. We can actually grab a hold of this one right here as well and put it right here. So we're going to grab a hold of our get sub, which is our submit button. We're going to grab it first, and then we're going to check it and make sure that it was clicked, which would be to send me text, which is right here. And once it was clicked, then we're going to say hello to the text that's inside of here. And then we're going to print that onto the screen. So dark effects. And there you go. This is Wayne Barron with darkeffects.net. Y'all have a rocking weekend. Bye-bye.